When he steps between the lines, Devilon Whitcomb is looking to cause as many problems as possible for the opposing offense. Off the field, the heart of South Dakota's seventh year senior is in a very different place. I had so many blessings, so many people to help me to get to where I'm at today. And it will feel as if it's almost a disservice to not give back or to not try to find the next devil on or the next woman or the young girl who can be in my situation. And if I could make a way for kids to come after me, then I'd be totally fine with what I've done. Um, I feel like it's a calling, uh, I would say. And it's just something that I genuinely love doing. Whitcomb has planted those seeds through his involvement with a mentoring program at his high school, Omaha North, as well as volunteering for the Special Olympics and the Boys and Girls Club. Since March of 2020, he's worked with the Simple Foundation, an Omaha-based organization geared toward cultivating and developing life skills and promoting the physical and emotional well-being of underserved youth. It's all part of what earned Whitcomb one of 22 spots on this year's All-State AFCA Good Works team. The work that we do like within our communities, like we don't do it for like the show. We do it because it's something that we genuinely love to do and then also it impacts so many lives. And just seeing some of the smiles of the faces of people who you can go out and touch within the communities is truly the amazing part. So just getting this award, I mean, it's really nice and all, but like the work never stops. And when I found out, I was pretty excited. Whitcomb's excitement level only grew from there. In addition to getting a spot on the team, he was invited to participate in a Zoom call with Good Works team alumni Emmanuel Acho and Tim Tebow. We got four incredible dudes. Elijah McAllister from Vanderbilt, Mo Hassan from USC, Darian Rancher from Clemson, and Devilon Whitcomb from South Dakota. Gentlemen, welcome to the 2021 Allstate AFCA Good Works team. That's where Devilon also learned that he had earned the added distinction of being one of this year's four spokesmen. It really just sent me off because some of the stuff that they ask it for, I mean, it's, it's not like hard for me to do. It's something that I can already do. And then also at the same exact time with it being one of the name, image and likeness deals and like one of the first times that they could do that as all say, they said within 30 years, I believe that this is the first time they're able to do so. Um, it was truly amazing. But that was the first of two surprises Whitcomb received on that call. The second, hit him right in the heart. Not only are they financially supporting you guys, but they're also gonna donate another $10,000 to the charities of your choice. Hey, wow. That was pretty ecstatic for me too, because like I was like $10,000, like to me, like, I'm like, this is crazy. Like y'all paying me, we're not paying me, y'all paying one of the charities or, um, the foundations on my behalf, $10,000, just because of some of the work that I've been doing and that I was highlighted and selected for this team. It was just still crazy to think about to this point. A fitting gesture for a group of young men that are living the phrase, it's better to give than receive.